what, Charlie? 1 over x squared? 1 over x squared. There you go. Okay. So let's step it up a bit. Here we go, Charlie. Now don't get scared. I like to refer to this as my attitude adjustment problem. Oh. Anyway, let's go on here. Okay, Charlie, let's just write everything out. Okay. Charlie, how many x's are on top? Three. That's right. How many y's on top? Four. And how many z's on top? That would be five. Okay, write them all out. No, wait a minute. How many x's are on the bottom? Five. And how many y's on the bottom? Two. And how many z's? Seven. Okay, Charlie, go ahead and write those out. I'll write them out for you. There you go. Okay. You got them done, Charlie? What? Yeah, you better have them done. Anyway, let's move on here. Let's start canceling some things out now. Charlie, how many x's can we cancel out? We have three x's on top, five x's on the bottom, so we can only cancel how many x's out? Three. That's right, three of them. Okay, so it looks like that's going to leave us with two on the bottom. Let's go to the y's. Okay, how many y's can we cancel out, Charlie? Remember, we have four y's on top and two y's on the bottom, so we can only cancel how many y's out? Two. Two. We can't cancel more than two because we only have two on the bottom. So it appears that it'll leave us with two y's on the top. Now let's go to the z's, Charlie. How many z's can we cancel out? Five. Five, that's right, because we only have five on the top. So that appears to leave us with two z's on the bottom. So we'll go ahead and box those for you there. Okay. So there we see it. We have two y's on top. We have two x's on the bottom and two z's on the bottom. So Charlie, how do we write y times y? Y squared. That's right. How do we write x times x? x squared. And how do we write z times z? z squared. Very nice, Charlie. So we're going to write our final answer there. y squared over x squared times z squared. Very nice there. So let's go back and look at the rules for exponents, though. Okay. Since we're dividing here, same basis, we're going to subtract the exponent. So here we go. We have x cubed being divided by x to the fifth, which means we have x to the three subtract five. Then we get to the y's here. y to the fourth over y squared means y to the four minus two power. And we bring it home with the z. z to the fifth over z to the seventh is z to the five subtract seven. And so when you do your basic arithmetic, three subtract five, subtract five, I hope you need the calculator for that, you should get this x to the negative 2, y to the positive 2, and z to, and z to the negative 2. Now, if we look at our result, we see that, hey, that x to the negative 2 times y squared times z to the minus 2, negative 2, must be the same as our answer before, and there we go. y squared over x squared times z squared, okay? And again, so with those negative exponents, what actually happens when you take it to the denominator, the exponent becomes positive. We'll talk a little bit about that in a few minutes here. So, let's keep going. Oh, what fun. Actually, let's talk about negative exponents right now. Yeah. You can get Charlie up to speed here. <laughs> okay, let's look at our result here. We have x to the negative 2, y squared, z to the negative 2, and we found that, look at Look at the y squared up there, Charlie. That is a positive exponent. We always want to write our answer with positive exponents in this class. Remember, we're in college now. This is the big time. So we don't write negative exponents. We write our answers, our solutions, with positive exponents. So here we go. Okay, Charlie, let's start with the x to the negative 2. We'll put a little bar here because we're going to have a rational expression, a fraction for our answer. x to the minus 2. To make that exponent positive, we have to do what, Charlie? Bring it to the bottom. Bring it to the bottom. There you go. Now, how about the y's? Leave it there. Okay, the y squared is already positive, so we're going to leave that on top. Now, the z to the minus 2, we need to take that to the what? To the bottom. To the bottom, and there was our answer. y squared over x squared over z squared. Oh, what fun! Let's go do another one. Okay, here we go. This time we have y to the negative 1 over x to the third, z to the negative 4. Okay, Charlie. What do we do with that x? x to the third. Do we have to move it? No. No, that stays there. Right on the bottom. Okay, how about that y to the negative 1? That's on top. It's a negative power, negative exponent. So we're going to do what? Take it to the bottom. We're going to bring it down to the bottom, and it becomes y to the positive 1 power. Okay. And then how about the z to the negative 4? That's already on the bottom. So we need to take that to where, Charlie? To the top. To the top there. 
and write it as z to the fourth, okay? Well, notice we have our answer is z to the fourth over x cubed y to the first. Notice y to the first power is written with an exponent as a one. You don't, you're not required to write that. y to the first power simply means you have y. That's all you have to write, so. Okay, let's go to another one here. Let's use some different variables, a, b, and c. Okay, Charlie, here. Notice with this one, all of the exponents are negative, so we're gonna have to move things around from the top to the bottom, bottom to top, all around like that. Let's start with the a. Okay, Charlie, we have a to the negative five. We're gonna take that to the what, Charlie? To the bottom. To the bottom, okay? Now, how about that b? It's on the bottom, so we're going to take it to the top. Top. There you go. And the C is on the bottom. has a negative exponent, so we're going to take it to the top. top. There you go, right there. And there's our answer. B to the sixth times C to the third over A to the fifth power. This is just too much fun. <laughs> okay, let's do another one here. Let's work with some exponents here. Let's start with this problem. X cubed times I'm sorry, x squared times x cubed. Now, the rules say when you're multiplying number, when you're multiplying something with the same base, you add the exponents. But let's talk about why that is. Realize here, x squared times x cubed. Remember, x squared means x times x. x cubed means x times x times x. So I want you to realize, basically, you have five x's being multiplied. And we don't write 5x's being multiplied that way. That's where we use the exponent. And so what's our answer, Charlie? X to the fifth. X to the fifth. Very good here. Okay. So we're just kind of going over some problems where students tend to make mistakes, especially him over there. Okay, so let's look at this problem here. 2x plus 3x. This is like saying if you have two apples and somebody gives you three more apples, how many apples do you have? Charlie. Five apples. Five apples. It's the same problem. Watch. Remember, what does 2x mean, Charlie? X plus x. X plus x, very good. And we're going to add another 3x, which means? X plus x plus x. X plus x plus x. Now, how do we write x plus x plus x plus x plus x? 5x. 5x. That's right. So that is your answer, 5x. So 2x's plus 3 more x's gives you 5x's. Very nice. Okay, let's go to another one here. Now let's deal with x squared. Now don't get scared. Everybody gets, gets confused. This is like combining like terms. Remember, when you, once you define that you have like terms, all you do is look at the coefficients. And the coefficients are basically the number. It's basically an arithmetic problem. In that, what's 2 plus 3, Charlie? 5. 5. So 2 apples plus 3 apples is 5 apples. 2 x's plus 3x's gives you how many x's, Charlie? 5x's. 5x's. And here, we have 2x squared. Now, Charlie, what does 2x squared mean? x squared, x plus, squared, x squared. plus x squared. Okay, good. Now we're going to add how many more x squareds? Three more. Three more. So you see we have x squared plus x squared. Take a break. Now, add. Three more x squareds. x squared plus x squared plus x squared gives you how many x squareds? Charlie. Five of them. Five of them. That's right. So your answer is 5x squared. So it's just like two apples plus three apples gives you five apples, except you have x squareds here, okay? Okay, Charlie.